case is getting a lot of attention after a judge issued a rare and much talked about punishment for a man who admitted to raping a young teenager. The suspect will serve prison time and will be physically castrated. Miranda Thomas spoke with prosecutors today. Miranda. Prosecutors say many sex crimes go unreported because victims are afraid, but they're hoping this case serves as an example of what could happen when victims come forward. Prosecutors in Livingston Parish say justice is finally served after 54-year-old Glenn Sullivan admitted he raped a young girl. Uh, the allegations have began several years ago that Mr. Sullivan had repeatedly raped her and one of the rapes, actually the first rape, at the age of 14, um, she became pregnant. A judge sentenced Sullivan to 50 years behind bars and physical castration. Castration is something Assistant District Attorney Brad Cassio says is not common, but paints a clear picture. The state legislature gives us tools that we can use to fight crime and protect victims. And this is one of those tools in a prosecutor's toolbox that we have at our disposal. And if I have the opportunity to do it, and I think that it's just and that the crime calls for it, I'm going to try my best to use it. Current law says a judge can issue a chemical castration as punishment in certain sex crime convictions, but a defendant can choose physical castration, which is what happened in Sullivan's case. State Senator Regina Barrow is working on legislation to expand the use of physical castration as a punishment for child sex crimes. Under her bill, a judge could order a physical castration for anyone convicted of a sex offense involving a child under the age of 13. The bill passed through the Senate floor on Tuesday afternoon. Barrow says it is a necessary change. And it would change individuals' thinking as they relate. At least they think about it once they realize the real true consequence of having it cut off or eliminated. Uh, it may actually make them think twice before their actions. By law, Sullivan's castration will take place no later than one week before his release. However, the Department of Corrections will make the final decision. DOC could do it next week or they could do it 40 years from now. You know, the victim did her job by coming forward, reporting her case and sticking with it. Our office did our job by prosecuting it. The judge did his, his job and now we trust DOC to do theirs. Senator Barrow has made this proposal before, but this year is making progress. It will head to the House floor tomorrow. Miranda, thank you. The state Supreme Court.